Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm, my name is Akilolo Akinsoya. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate that greatly. Uh, if you've been following this channel already, thank you for coming back to watch my videos. Today we're going to be talking about rounding off whole numbers. So last last uh, video was introducing whole numbers, uh, digits. Uh, we also talked about uh, number place. Um, so this time around we're going to be talking about rounding off of whole numbers. So we have different digits in, in whole numbers. And running all of all no, numbers is something that we do a lot in life, or also in, in school. Um, for example, I can say, how much is that? Sometimes you may not know the exact amount of that item, but you have an average figure, and instead of saying it's uh, five dollars and five cents or five dollars twenty cents, you say it's about six dollars. So you round up the number. So right. So we do that a lot every day, and we also do that in math. So it's it's good for you to know how to round off whole numbers properly okay so that is why this class is very very uh, uh important so take for example you are given an example they're giving three two six one and you're asked to round off to the nearest hundred so that uh that is what that's what you're asked to do. Round off to the nearest hundred, right? So you have this number. So how do you round off to the nearest hundred? Well, don't forget that in our last class we learned number placement, right? So this right here is one, this is tens, and this is hundred. So they're asking you to, to round off this number to the nearest hundred. This number, because this is the hundred number. So how do you do that? Is you look for a number before that number look for a number before this number if the number before this number is five or greater okay again if the number before these two from the right from the right coming this way is greater than five is five and above so it's equal to five and above then to run this number to the nearest whole number so you're going to be Turn that 5 to 1, okay, turn it to 1 and add it to this. So this is going to be 2 plus 1, and that will be 3. That's the first rule. The second rule is after you've done this, every number after 2 becomes 0. 0, 0, okay? Every number after 2 becomes 0. So rule number 1, if the number... to be rounded off hold on a second let me change that let's start from the beginning beginning rule number one locate the number to be rounded off Rule number two, okay? If the number to the right of number or digit identified in one, in rule one, is equal to or greater than five then had one to number identified in row one okay so that's number that's rule number two just I'm just giving simple rules right things to follow and then you have rule number three So rule number three is turn every number turn every number beside beside rule number one to zero beside number that you identified to zero okay so let's let's clear this right here 
So the first rule is locate the number to random. So we've located two is the number to round off, right? If the number to the right of that number, the right the number to the right of two is six, is rather right than five. So then had one to the number identified in rule one. So add one to two, and that will give you three. And then rule three says turn every number beside beside rule number one to zero. So let's do that. So we have three, two, so turn this number to zero and turn this number to zero. So this is the nearest whole number that you can get. Three, two, uh, zero, zero. Right? Sorry, uh, three, three, zero, zero. So we have three, three, zero, zero. Because we have this two plus one is three. So we have three, three, zero, zero. Okay? So that is how you solve that. Um, but what if in this number, the number is not up to uh, five? So what do you do in that case? In that case, you leave, you don't have, you leave this number the way it is, but you still turn these two numbers to uh, to zero. So let's do that example. Let's say example two. Example two, okay. We're gonna do this example again. We have five, nine, two, eight. Run off to the nearest hundred. This is the hundred number. So we're going to run up to the nearest hundred. So this number is not up to five. So what do you do in that case? If that number is not up to five, what do you do? So now this is where it gets tricky, right? It, well, it's not tricky. I'm just playing. But if this number is not up to five, then you do, you have you can't do this. You can you can add one to this number. Okay, so it remains five nine. But this number is going to change to zero zero. So this, this so this is going to become the answers will become five nine zero zero. Simple, okay. So it's very simple. If it's if it's more, if this number beside we and five is five and above, then add to it. So let's assume that this number was. Uh, let's do another example. Another example. If this number should have been five nine six eight to the nearest. 100 is going to be because this, this is 6 right here. This, is, this number is 6, it's going to be had 9 to 9 plus 1 is going to be 10. So 10 times 10 and put right here. So it's going to be 6,000. Okay, that's where, that's where your answer is going to be 6. We got this 10 added to this, that's uh, 6, and you have 0, 0, 0, right? Um, so let's do another example. Another example. Say you're giving um hmm. Say you're giving three seven two five run off to the nearest hundred. So this ones, tens, under. So we're looking at this number. We're gonna run this off to the nearest hundred, seven. But the number to the right of seven is two. It's not up to um, it's not up to five. So you can't add. So this, you can't add anything to this seven, right? So the seven remains seven. So your answer is going to be three, seven, zero, zero. So that's your answer because you can't you can't increase this number. But this two and five is going to turn to uh, to to zero zero. So let's do some um, some some practice. Uh, um, a question some practice question okay so um, you can you can write your answers down in the comment section if you want to so practice question so practice this number one three seven two five to the sorry three seven Five five to the nearest hundred. Okay. Example two three seven five five to the nearest thousands. So see so these are the same number, but this is to the nearest hundred. Randolph Randolph. 
So it's saying round off to the nearest hundred. This is saying round off to the nearest thousands. And then the last one I'm gonna give you is, uh, say I give you five, six, one, um, four, one, eight. Uh, let's say, let's say uh, five, one, uh, four. Five, six, one, five, one, four. Round off to the nearest ten thousands. So it's the same thing. Look for the ten thousand number and then look at the number beside it that is on the right. If that number is less than five and greater than five and above, then have one to it. To that number that you have defined and then round up the other as zero so the same rules appear uh, apply just look for the number the, the nearest thousands number they're talking about and then your answer is right there so that is that about um uh, random of all numbers so the next topic we're going to be talking about today uh, right now is going to be um addition of whole numbers or so how do you have how do you add up all numbers and how do you subtract all numbers so that's what we're going to discuss right now so in, in math, in mathematics, um, we have things we call addition, subtraction, we have multiplication, and we have divisions. All these uh, things are called operations in mathematics. That's what we call them, we call them opera operations. And the sign, we, we use a sign to, 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 to show an operator. So in addi addition is called an operation, right? And the operator there is the plus sign, okay? It's a plus sign. And that way you can, you can, Talk about addition is sum. Some people say sum. Or you hear the word summation. Okay. So that's this all this addition, sum, summation, they are all this and they mean plus. That's what they mean. These are these are these are the, these are operations uh in in mathematics and this sign is the operator right there. We also have subtraction. We have subtraction, which is uh we have uh subtraction. And the sign for that operation is this sign, like a dash, minus. And you can also hear another one, you, see, you have minus, we use the word minus. Instead of subtraction, we use difference for that also. So we hear difference of a subtraction. So those are other words we use if we don't want to use subtraction. We can use minus, we can use uh, difference. We can also use even less, uh, less, on, uh, so less, which is to remove, to subtract. Um, we also have multiplication. So we have we have multiplication. We have multiplication. And it's usually represented by X. So uh, instead of using multiplication, you can also use the word product. Okay. Product is used. And in some cases, some people use of. Okay, they use product, uh, they use of. And then also we use times. So all this means the same thing, you know, it means the same thing. Um, um, uh, some people use period, uh, they use period, they use, they use dot like that. So when you see three dot five, it means three times five in some cases. Now, I'm not saying, that there are cases where you know this is a decimal, but I'm talking about in some cases, they can, they can, you can actually write three dot five as, as multiplication. Uh, it's, it's not it's common in mathematics and when you use period you know the difference between a period and a decimal so when you're using a decimal you use the decimal at the bottom here okay but when you use a period it's usually three at the middle on five so this is not a decimal it's a period like that and this one means three times five okay which is 15 okay this one is not the same thing as this because this period right here is at the bottom when this period, when the period means multiplication, is at the middle, so you will know the difference when you see them. So that is under, and then the last one we have is division. The division. So these are, are called operators, right? Operations. We have division, and you we use this sign to show division, and in some cases it can be called a fraction, for like a fraction, you know. Um, so these are the operators that we have in mathematics. So today. We're going to learn how to add or uh, how to sum in mathematics. So that is what we want to learn, summation. And after that, we're going to go to subtraction, and then we'll go to multiplication, and then we'll go to 
division. So today we're doing addition. So as we are giving two digits, and they use your printer plus five plus three. How do you add this together? Very simple. Five. You can draw five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And then put a sign in there, plus, and you draw three lines. One, two, three. Okay? Three lines are lines. So when you see this plus, it means count all the lines together. Count all the lines. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your answer is eight. That's how you have. So whenever you see this sign, it means to to add it together. So to do that, simple operation, draw five lines, draw three lines, put a sign in the middle, count all of them, and then that will give you eight. So that means five plus three is eight. Another example, you're giving six plus three. Okay, so draw six lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, put a plus sign, which is the operator sign, and then draw three lines, one, two, three. So now add all the lines up. So count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So everything is nine, so your number is nine. So that's how you had, um, had this, this number together. Now these numbers right here, when you're doing summation, are called addends, we call them addends, right? Addends. So uh, six is an addend, three is an addend. So six plus three is nine. Another example, another example, you're given three plus two plus one plus four plus seven. That's what you're given. It asks you to add all this together. So to do the addition, simply just um, over time, you're going to get used to it. You won't have to use the sticks anymore, but I'm teaching you step by step on how you, how you add together. So three lines plus two lines plus one line, plus four lines, plus seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have, count all these lines now, all the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So your answer is 17. So that means when you had three plus two, plus one, plus four, plus seven, you should get number 17. That's what you should get. And this 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17. So that is correct, right? So uh, let's do a simple example. Let's do a simple example. Let's do a simple example. So we have example we have five plus four so how do you calculate that one two three four five and then four lines one two three four so add everything together one two three four five six seven eight nine so your answer is nine all right so that's our simple example now let's get to let's go to another level of addition right so that's a simple level of addition so what's it let's say we give you to say add 24, okay, uh, say plus 185, plus uh, say uh, 3625. So add all this together. And let's say plus 9, let's put 9 there. So we have, okay, so you have this, this right here. If you intend to use the method I taught you earlier, which is to draw the lines, it's going to take a long time. You're going to be drawing a lot of lines to add your value up, but you don't want to do that. So it's a simple way that math say we should do it. And that's what we're going to learn. So you can't use that old method that I taught you because it's too cumbersome to do that. So math say to do this, to, to add this together, we should follow this step. Number one, take the largest number. This is the largest number right here. So we're going to write 3625. Why is the largest number? Because it's in the thousands. This is, remember, this is one, this is ten, this is hundred, and this is thousands. This is the hundreds, this is the tens, and this is one. So this is the largest number right here. So let's write the largest number. Three, six, two, five. Three, six, two, five. 
Math also says when you take the largest number, put a plus sign here, and then take the next largest number after that. So we're going to take this, but this, this is the next largest after this number. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to write 5A1. Math says when you're doing this together, make sure that this number lines up on the, on the same line. Okay? They're on the same line. That is tens to tens, hundred to hundreds. Um, so one to one, tens to tens, hundred to hundred. The next one after that, we're going to have 24. So don't forget to make sure that the tens line up with the tens here and the one line up with the ones here. So this is the ones. And then finally, we have nine. Okay? So when you do that, draw a line, and when you draw that line, now you can add up your number. You will with it. So five plus five is 10. 10 plus four is 14. 14 plus nine is 23. So you can't write 23, you cannot, because there are two numbers together. You have to write the three, which is the left, the rightmost number, right three, and then write the remaining two right here. So, next one is going to add up this, this two you wrote right here, which you carried here. Two plus two is going to be four. Four plus eight is going to be 12. Twelve plus four is going to be 14. Again, you have two digits. Because it's two digits, you can't write 14. You have to write four, the rightmost number. So, write four. So, the one you're going to put right here. Okay? So, now, do the same math again. One plus six, seven. 7 plus 1 is 8. So we have just one number, so you just write 8. And then this is 3 standing by itself. There's nothing here. Okay? So it's just going to be 3. So your answer is going to be 3843. Three. That's your answer. So that is how we do that in math. Let's do a second example. So you are given 45. Add 45 plus 23. That's what you're giving. Add 45 plus 23. So again, you can't be drawing strokes because you don't have the time. It takes a long time. So we, get, we have to use this method. So write 4 and 5 plus, which is the largest number, and then you have 2 and 3. So we're going to write 2 and 3. Because these two numbers are just 1 and 10, 1 and 10, they can become like this. So draw a line. Add this and this together. If you choose to use the, 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 the line method for this 5 and 3, you can do that. So 5 plus 3, if you do the stick method, it's going to be 8. So you write 8. And then 4 plus 2 is 6. So you write 6. So your answer is 68. So that is how you, you do that. Now, I'm going to give you uh, uh, one more uh, example. Um, and then we'll go to, I'm going to write practice question that you can practice and then you can write the answer. So let's assume you're giving uh, another example. You're giving a uh, add 29,548 plus, uh, plus 23 plus 1,005. You're asked to add this number. So let's use our, our, our process. This is the largest number here, 29,548. 29, so we're going to write that because the largest number, 29,548. Followed by the largest number after that, which is 8,005. Right? 1,005. You have four numbers. So don't forget to start right to 5, 0, 0, 1. It's going to be a comma here. Okay? The next number is going to be 23, so write 3, and then write 2. So draw a line and put a plus. So now, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 3 is 16. Again, 16, you have 16. You cannot write 16, you have to write 6. You're going to write 1, so just 6, so go write 6 right here. So what happens to this 1? Put it on top of here, okay? On top, and then you have the numbers now. So you have 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 0 is 5, and 5 plus 2 is 7, so write 7. Then you have 5 plus 0, which is 5, and there's 0 here, so we don't really write it, but that's what it means. So uh, 5 plus 0 is 0, so you have 5. 
then 9 plus 1 is 10. It's 10. You cannot write 10. You have to write 1 to write the most. So you have to write 0 and then carry 1 and put right here. Okay? This 1 gets right here. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 0 is 0. So you have 3. So when you add this all together, you're going to get, again, this is third and fourth number. So put a comma right here. So you're going to get your answer is going to be 30,000. Uh, 576 that's gonna be your answer so now let's go to the practice questions uh, they are simple uh, we can easily do them so practice questions that you can do write your answer in the comment section and after this we're going to go to subtraction um, of whole numbers so practice question practice question so let's do uh, Let's do add 43 plus uh, 271 plus 16. Uh, number two, add, add 523 plus 8,312 plus 53. And then finally, Add three seven four one plus sixty plus one thirty five plus two three six eight five. So this is a practice question you can practice. Drop your answer in the comment section and um if you're right, I will put a thumbs up, comment, uh, give, give you a response. If you're wrong, I will let you know what mistakes you made. Um, again, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think, if I'm going too fast, if I'm too slow, if I need to be uh, much more uh, explanative, let me know. Again, this class is to help you uh, become stronger in your mathematics so you can take exam and pass your ACT exam. Uh, I appreciate you if you're already a member of this channel. If you are not, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that big time. Uh, like, comment, you know, share with your friends that you think might need to know this uh, because there are a lot of people out there that are struggling with, math with mathematics. So um, thank you for watching again. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.